typically an impact investor know you know that this the areas of work that need to be invested in but they often don't have the entrepreneurs that are indigenous to that that area that complete in their networks because venture capital is a very network driven kind yeah. of space you know so um there was a study that most of, outside of just impact investing but venture capital as a whole 40 percent of venture capital um investor come from stanford and yale oh wow <laughs> and what so most, again? what's the percentage 40 percent wow that's a big from, percentage yes yeah, come from stanford and, yale. and so then most of your top ceos that have received venture capital funding come from stanford and yale right so you know and most of your social entrepreneurs who are really indigenous to the communities and doing the work they're not in those networks they're not in those ivy league networks and so you know there's this disconnect sometimes of the impact investors knowing where to go to find these entrepreneurs you know they typically go to your chambers and your entrepreneur networking events or um you know like socap is you know a big conference everyone goes to um, and, but many times the people who are truly close to the the problem are not at those events i mean socap is kind of an expensive conference to go to <laughs> so you know so they're they're not at those events so there are other networks and that's because i've been in the historical black college space i think i've been a little bit more privy to where those networks are that impact investors can connect with those entrepreneurs in that work okay so making sure that you're getting them to mingle in the right places right so right you know where to go because that's a big deal like we yeah. have a new employee at our company who just moved to Atlanta and like I'm telling her where all like you need to go to this meeting and you got to go to that meeting and that's right. just like you I've been in Atlanta forever right so I'm like hey yeah. go to this place and then really interestingly thinking about because I, I have some friends I've talked with a lot about you know there's a difference between building an organization where you have to always go raise money for it and building something that's self-sustaining which is sort of how an entrepreneur thinks about it so like how do I build like I'm doing social impact and you can do it in a way that's like has like a legacy to it right like right. It has a legacy to what it does and yeah. how, but they may not think of themselves that way that's really yeah funny. yeah a lot and what i what i kept seeing is a lot of social entrepreneurs they would just bootstrap you know uh, to the end of their resources and then they get burnt out and quit yeah <laughs> um because they and literally because they just run out of runway they run out of cash flow um right. you know and not many times it's not that it wasn't a good idea that it wasn't making an impact that it wasn't helping people they just ran out of money right. or you know ran out they couldn't hire the personnel they needed to do the work um so you know if we can combine these two groups yeah. and get them to know that each other exists and where they exist you know and that's part of the using media to tell those stories because it's like okay where are you doing the work how did you get into this where do you hang out you know where you know and the impact investors what what are you funding what area are you funding what's your you know, area of focus. That's the other thing I found working with, with entrepreneurs that do know about venture capital investor or impact investor. They just go to any investor yeah. and not understanding that you really need to look for an investor that one has experience investing in your space, but then two, that is aligned with your company's vision. Because otherwise, I mean, a, a investment relationship is a long term relationship. Yes. You know? <laughs> so otherwise, it's going to be a nightmare if that person is not right. aligned. <laughs> that's such good you know it's so funny to think about it from that perspective because the that's such good advice you don't just want the money like you do not want the money you it's want a partner. yeah the partner that's like if you watch shark tank and you understand how they're selecting they're selecting the person that they think is going to move them along yeah the money is important but it's really about who do you know and what's the connection going to look like so finding the right person who understands the vision and getting that together